friends, so today we are going to make mug rugs. We're going to use fabric and our Cricut to make darling shaped mug rugs. So if you don't know what these are, they're coasters, they're fabric coasters, and typically they're squares. Um, but today we, we own a Cricut, so we're going to make these into shapes. And so I'm going to theme them, um, and they're going to be back to school themed, but you could do this with anything for Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever. Um, I think you are going to love this. They are so much fun. So we're going to cut fabric with our Cricut, then we're going to head over to the sewing machine, we're going to stitch them together, and then we're going to end with some hand stitching. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can still make these, okay? So you'll just need to stitch the whole thing by hand, but they're not complicated at all. So if you are new here, you are crafting with Kim Byers. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on the craft table, and these are the fabrics that we're going to work with today. And I have just fallen in love with fabrics lately. So I have tons of um, polka dots and tons of stripes and some checkerboard and I have a pink mat which is the mat we need for cutting with our Cricut. I have a, a brayer which is the tool we're going to use to put the fabric onto the mat and I have a lint roller and now today I'm using my Explore Three. Okay, so let's pop into Cricut Design Space. I have gone ahead and pulled in some of the things I want to work with. What do you think? These are so cute. So the square that you see there is just the typical um, mug rug shape. Um, my, these are the ones my mom makes for me all the time, but I thought, you know what? We have a Cricut. We have the ability to do shape. Wouldn't it be fun to create shapes and cutting that fabric with our Cricut. So, and I wanted to do a back to school version so that maybe, you know, these could be teacher gifts where they could put their coffee cup or their water on their desk and have a cute little mug rug for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do apples and we're going to do pencils. And for the pencil, I struggled finding one that was like short and squat. So I actually used the features within Cricut Design Space, this, this little lock right here. I unlocked it change the proportion of it, and then relocked it for cutting. Now, when you're cutting out fabric to make a mug rug and you're going to have a piece of batting between your two elements, just remember that you will need to take that background element. So like for the half of the pencil, you're going to need to duplicate that. So that's what I have here is a duplication of that. And then remember that you are going to need to mirror it or flip it because you are going to want to cut out that fabric so that it's back facing, right? So for mine, and I'll show you this in a second, but it's going to be stripes. And so what we wanna do is we want to be able to mirror image or back face those to each other with the batting in between, so we're sandwiching it. Now for the pencil, it's symmetrical, so we're not going to have to flip that, but we are going to need to duplicate it. So we need the pencil and then we need the backer of the pencil. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, look into Color Sync. This is one thing, so if you are cutting out fabric and so you definitely want to cut out, you know, this interior of the apple and this pencil eraser to be the same piece of fabric. If you go into Color Sync, you're going to be able to shift things around, move things around, and then you'll be able to put both of those pieces of fabric cut at a time. Okay, so I've already done this for mine, but it's as easy as picking it up and literally, you know, dragging it forward. So if we wanted that square to then be cut out of the same fabric as our apple. So now let's choose our machine and today we are going to use the Cricut Maker. Select Make It and it's going to ask us which type of mat we want to use. So I'm just going to go on the mat and we are going to use a 12 by 12. And so now it's sorted all of my colors onto the appropriate mat. So I have my pencil back, I have the front of my pencil, I have my apple, and I also have my other uh, pink elements for my apple. And so on this one, if we don't want to cut this one off, all you have to do is hide object. And so now that's off of your mat. But you notice how these are mirror imaged. So now what we want to do is go ahead and hit continue. Okay, so I just chose a cotton fabric for the type of material in Cricut that I'm cutting, and I'm just going to start with the green and white stripes, and we'll go ahead and get that trimmed out and put that onto our pink mat. I'll use a lint roller to get any excess lint off, and I'll use a brayer to put it down. Since we're using a Cricut Maker, I'm going to use the rotary blade to cut fabric. It is the easiest way. Now, if you have an Explorer, you can use a blade and bonded fabric, but the rotary blade is gonna give you the, the most perfect cut. So if you have a Maker, 
invest in this rotary blade. It's just like having a rotary knife, just like you see right here on the table. So let's pop that in to the housing and we're ready to cut. We laid our mat just like we're cutting paper or vinyl or anything else and it quickly cuts and then we unload that and I'll just bend my mat just slightly although fabric doesn't pop off like other things do and so then we'll just peel from the corner and I'll be honest with you guys every time I do this I am impressed it is perfect shaped cuts. And now we're going to repeat that process with our pink gingham for our apple core and our pencil eraser. And we're also going to repeat this process for our um, pencil backer. And so we'll just pop that onto our fabric, get it into the machine. We're once again using the rotary blade and we'll have the machine cut that out. And then we will take this over to our auto press, which I have a full review on if you want to check out this auto press. I love being able to do things in just seconds. Okay, so now that we have everything cut out, so we have our apple and all of the pieces, we have our pencil and all the pieces, and so what we're going to do, this is iron-on batting, so we are going to place the back of each of our designs onto the iron-on batting and take it over to the press. We're going to press it with a protective parchment sheet, and then we're going to be able to cut that out using the back of the mug rug as a template. So let's trim this out really quickly, and we'll take it over to the auto press. Here on the machine, we will just quickly press it with a protective covering, um, protecting both the top and bottom of the press, and we'll take it back to the table. Okay, so now we have it back on the craft table. What we wanna do is we just wanna peel that parchment off. So it just peels right away. And now we want to trim out our designs um, so that we just have the batting. And this is a little tacky, but not bad. So let's go ahead. Okay, so now that we've got it cut out and we have um, each of our shapes, our pencil and then our apple, what we wanna do next is we wanna take our pins and we wanna pin down our design. So we're going to take our pencil elements, we'll flip this over, and so we're going to place our fabric where it needs to be. And once we get it all pinned down, we'll take this over to the sewing machine. Okay, so those of you who craft with me, you know I'm a Cricut expert, but I am still learning the sewing process. So my mom is directing me um, to just make sure that the pins are not overlapping any area that we will be sewing. Okay, so here we are on the sewing table. And so we have our pencil, we're starting with our pencil and I have my mom with me and so she is going to take it away. All right, first thing you wanna do is drop the needle and then you put down the presser foot and you just start really slow and go right to the edge. I've got a, a quarter inch foot on it. And when you get to the corners, just make sure that you can pick it up and turn it, do like one stitch, in this case, probably two, then turn it a little more. Come back down. And stop at the corner. Make sure you stop like a quarter of an inch away too, so that when you lift it up, you come, come back, back down. down. Stop again. So now we have to back stitch to lock it in. And then cut the threads. We're just finishing up the last stitches and then I'll take it back over to the craft table for the finishing element. Okay, so now we're about to do the apple, but I've decided that I'm going to stitch around the apple or the inside pink with cross stitch thread. So I am actually just going to take off that top piece and we're just going to sew Oops, I have it here on the back too. And we're just going to sew the green to the green. Ouch. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Don't bleed on it. I know. All right, here we go. Follow it around the edge. Okay, so we drop the needle, put right. down the presser foot, and now we're just going to make sure that it's stitch the green. And when you have a tiny little um, edge like we do, then use a stylus to hold down the fabric and to feed it in so you don't get your fingers caught. Just so you can stay right on the edge. 
don't need any wrinkles, any gathers. Okay, so here we are to finish up on the craft table. And so you can see our little apple turned out so cute. You can see the little stitches all the way around. I like the rough edges. And so we're going to take um, cross stitch thread and we're going to go around the outer edges of the core. And then for my little pencil, I think it turned out just sweet. I love how the little threads are kind of pulled. I think it adds a lot to it. And so for this one, we're just going to put the pencil tip on with a dark color here. And so let's go ahead. I have some cross stitch thread. So this is a pink um, and I picked this up at Walmart and by the way the pink fabric and the yellow are both Waverly fabric that I picked up in fat quarters at Walmart the green and the um, beige are just fabrics that I believe I got those at Hobby Lobby I've had them for a while so what we want to do is we just want to pick up our design and you could do it one of two ways so you could have embellished this to the green before sewing it um, and before adding it to the batting but it's not necessary this is such a thin project um, but you could have done that and then you could have done that as well with the pencil but I actually think this is going to make it very sweet and looks very homemade this way so I'm actually going to start at the bottom of the apple and work my way all the way around and so for this thread, um, you know, if you cross stitch, and I do, you can divide your thread because it comes in six strands. But for this project, because I wanted it to seem bulky, I'm using all six strands. Okay, and so there we go, all stitched up. I decided to go with a pink um, on the pencil, and I love the way that it turned out. I love that they're not perfect. There was a day in my crafting when I would have wanted everything to be perfect, but I actually really like this handmade look. Okay, I'll also link up a few other projects that I've done with my Cricut and fabric if you want to check those out, and I will see you in the next video.